this video we are going to see the tabulation method to obtain the simplified form in SOP using don't care conditions. Consider the example which is given in terms of min terms and also the don't care conditions. Now first step to group them based on the number of ones in its corresponding binary representation include both min terms and also don't care conditions and group them accordingly. <coughs> Zero don't have any number of ones so first group. One will be having single one so first second group. Uh, then two single one so first group. Then three and five are having two ones. Seven, eleven are having three ones and fifteen is having four ones. So comparison goes with the consequent groups 0 and 1 will compare to get the next pair. So 0, 1 with the difference 1, 0, 2 with the difference 2. Then we will compare second and third groups 1 and 3 difference 2, 1 and 5 difference 4, 2 and 3 difference 1, 2 and 5 it is not possible so separation goes there. Comparison of third and fourth group 3, 7, 3, 11 and 5, 7. 5, 11 is not possible because it is 6. Even though answer is positive, we cannot express in terms of powers of 2. So separation comes here. Then 7, 15, 8, 11, 15. Okay. So we have formed pairs using the given min terms and also the don't care conditions. Now we have to form the Quads. So if you see the first uh, and the second groups, the difference 1 is there. So 0, 1, 2, 3. We can compare them. So let considering and forming a quad. Then if you consider the value 0, 2 with the difference 2, we can compare with 1 and 3. So we can compare them. And we don't have a difference 4 in the first group, so no comparison is possible. So separation comes here. Then the difference like 1, 5 can be compared with 3, 7 because the same difference 4 and new difference is 3. 3 minus 1. New difference is 2. We are putting 2, two here. And then difference 2. 1, 3, 5, 7 we are comparing. New, old difference is 2 and new difference 5 minus 1 is 4 that we are considering. And no other comparisons from second and third groups. So separation comes here. Now if you see a 3, 11 and 7, 15, new difference is 4. So we can compare them. And 3, 7 and 11, 15 also can be compared. So 3 quads are obtained. And now you can see these are the duplicates of each other. So we will remove the duplicate. So 3 quads and if you see we are having only 3 quads as prime implicants actually. And ticked ones are called prime implicants. The next step is selection of prime implicants. So the change comes here only when don't care conditions are given in the problem. So while you are selecting the prime implicants from the determined one which are done in the first step, as we have seen in the previous video, we need to include the min terms given in the question here. So in this case, we include only the min terms which are given in the form of sigma but not the condition that don't care conditions will not be included here. These are the determined prime implicants from the step 1. So as usual, please uh, check the min terms what are given in the prime implicants. So if you see 0, 1, 2, 3, 0 and 2, 3 are don't care conditions so we need not do anything. 1 and 3 are the min terms so we can give cross. Similarly 1, 5, 3, 7, 1, 3, 7 are, uh, are min terms and 5 is the don't care condition so we leave it and in the case of 3, 7, 11, 15, 3, 7, 11 and 15 are the min terms so we are giving here. Now observe each column we are having single tick, a single cross in case of 11 and 15 so tick them both and because this is the corresponding prime implicant check that. And now because 3 and 7 also are included in that we can include 3 and 7. Now in order to select one which is not selected at all, we can either select the first one or 
second one in this example I am second selecting the second one so my answer goes like this that is f equal to a bar d plus c d so only thing we have to remember is we are not supposed to include the don't care conditions while, while we are doing the second step that is selection of prime implicants thank you